visceral part of the nervous system. Now the visceral part has sensory and motor neurons. Sensory and motor neurons. The sensory neurons, they monitor the change in the viscera. That is, whenever there is some kind of change in the internal organs of the body, that is, that information is carried out by sensory neurons of the visceral part of the nervous system. So sensory neurons, they monitor changes in viscera. They monitor changes in viscera. Whereas the motor part, the motor neurons, they innervate the glands, smooth muscles, and cardiac muscle. They innervate motor neurons, they innervate glands and smooth muscles smooth muscles and the cardiac muscles Now this visceral part of the nervous system is also referred to as the autonomic part of the PNS. This visceral component of the nervous system is known as the autonomic, autonomic division of PNS that is the peripheral nervous system now what are visceral sensory neurons the visceral sensory neurons they arise from the neural crest cells the cells of the neural crest they give rise to visceral sensory neurons this is the neural crest neural crest and these neural crest the cells present in these neural crests they give rise to visceral sensory neurons. They give rise to visceral sensory neurons. They send out their processes medially, that is, towards the neural tube and laterally to the associated regions. We have dermatomes here on the lateral side of the neural crest. So laterally the processes are sent out to the associated regions of the skin and muscles whereas medially they are sent out to the neural tube. These visceral sensory neurons are also known as general visceral afferents that is GVAs, GVAs, general visceral afferents that are visceral sensory neurons and they arise from the cells of the neural crest and send out their processes medially as well as later medially to the neural tube this is the neural tube and these are the neural crests and the cells are giving out their processes medially and laterally now these visceral sensory neurons they carry out certain functions the functions carried out by visceral sensory neurons or gvas or general visceral afferents are chemoreception chemo reception and mechanoreception. reception chemo and mechano reception reception when we say chemo reception we refer to chemo receptors that are present in the body in different regions these chemo receptors help us to detect senses such as taste and smell taste and smell are the functions that we can detect by the help of chemoreceptors we move on to mechanoreception just as we have chemoreceptors in the body we have mechanoreceptors mainly present on the skin these mechanoreceptors help us detect sensations of touch on the body we move on to visceral motor neurons. These visceral motor neurons, they arise laterally from the neural tube. They are placed laterally on the neural tube. And they give rise to the processes 
of the neurons and these processes they come out anteriorly these processes they come out anteriorly from the neural tube and they further they synapse with visceral motor neurons that is the same category of neurons but outside CNS they synapse synapse means make connections they make connections with other visceral motor neurons outside the CNS and these visceral motor neurons are also known as general visceral efferents starts with an E it's general visceral efferents or G V E's now the position where the synapse that is outside the PNS these visceral motor neurons present outside the CNS also arise from the neural tube but they migrate away from the original position and still lie close to the neural tube there are certain terms such as preganglionic fibers and postganglionic fibers when you say the term preganglionic fibers pre ganglionic fibers they are visceral motor neurons or general visceral efferents that are present inside the spinal cord fibers or visceral motor fibers to be specific visceral motor fibers in the spinal cord are known as preganglionic fibers visceral motor fibers and spinal cord are known as the preganglionic fibers and when we say postganglionic fibers post ganglionic fibers they are visceral motor neurons or we write as G V E's that is general visceral efferents present in the spinal cord present outside the spinal cord present outside the spinal cord are known as post ganglionic fibers now we're going to discuss the root of visceral and somatic motor and sensory neurons that is how they travel to and from the spinal cord this is the structure of the segment of the spinal cord and what you see right here these are arising from the posterior end and are known as the posterior roots posterior roots of the spinal nerves posterior roots of spinal nerves the ones arising from this side are known as the anterior roots anterior roots of spinal nerves now these anterior and posterior roots of the spinal nerves they carry certain fibers the posterior root of the spinal nerve it carries two kinds of fibers that is sensory and visceral but what kind of sensory and visceral we have two kinds of fibers in the posterior root of the spinal nerve 
we have two fibers here and they are somatic and visceral sensory fibers so the posterior roots carry they carry somatic and visceral sensory fibers right whereas the anterior roots of the spinal nerves they again carry two kinds of fibers they also carry two kinds of fibers that is visceral motor fibers and sensory motor fibers visceral and sensory motor fibers this is the posterior root this is the anterior root the posterior roots they carry somatic and visceral sensory fibers whereas the anterior roots they carry visceral and sensory motor fibers now the visceral motor fibers that are carried in the anterior roots are the preganglionic and not the pro and not the postganglionic preganglionic visceral motor fibers preganglionic visceral motor fibers further these posterior roots they give off posterior branch that is called as the posterior ramus posterior ramus when we say when we combine two ramus it becomes rami so ramus is the singular form and rami is the plural form and what this ramus means the ramus it means a branch the posterior branch is given off by the posterior root of the spinal nerves and is known as the posterior ramus similarly we have anterior ramus this is the anterior ramus or the anterior branch these anterior and posterior rami they carry post ganglionic visceral motor fibers these anterior and posterior rami they carry post ganglionic fibers which is a part of the visceral nervous system post ganglionic fibers they are visceral motor neurons the visceral and sensory motor fibers they do not enter or exit the spinal cord levels at all costs in the cranial region the visceral components they are associated with cranial nerves 3 7 9 and 10 so these are the four out of the 12 cranial nerves that are associated to the visceral components the cranial nerve 3 is known as the oculomotor nerve cranial nerve 7 is the facial nerve cranial nerve 9 is the glossopharyngeal nerve and cranial nerve 10 is the vagus nerve once again cranial nerve 3 is oculomotor nerve oculomotor nerve and as for this is an abbreviation for nerve I'm using and dot the cranial nerve 7 is the facial nerve facial nerve cranial nerve 9 is glossopharyngeal nerve glossopharyngeal nerve and cranial nerve 10 that is the vagus nerve vagus nerve so these are the four out of twelve nerves that are associated with the visceral components in the spinal cord the visceral components they're associated to levels 
D1 to L2 and S2 to S4. That means when we say T1 to L2, these visceral components are associated from the vertebral levels T1, that is thoracic and lumbar 2, thoracic 1 till thoracic 12, the whole thoracic region along with L2, lumbar region up to the second vertebra. So it is thoracic and lumbar up to second vertebral level and S2 to S4 is the sacrum vertebrae and these are the vertebrae numbers that are associated with the visceral component the visceral motor components that are associated with this region in the spinal cord that is from T1 to L2 is known as sympathetic sympathetic and the visceral motor components that are associated to the cranial regions and the sacral regions from S2 to S4 are termed as parasympathetic sympathetic and parasympathetic